Good Thoughts from Vision's Daily Devotion, The Word for Today. In 1 Chronicles 28 verses 11 and 12, we read that David gave Solomon the plans for all that the Spirit had put in his mind for the temple of the Lord. The word for today is about having God ideas. The first Jewish temple ranks as one of the architectural wonders of the ancient world. It was built in the 10th century BC, and the project scope was so massive that Solomon employed 30,000 loggers and 80,000 stone cutters. More than 3,000 foremen managed the seven-year project. The temple was the epicentre of Judaism. It was the place of sacrifice, the place of worship, the place of pilgrimage. But like everything else, the temple was once a figment of the imagination. The cumulative history of the Jewish temple can be traced all the way back to an idea in the mind of King David. But it wasn't David's idea. 1 Chronicles 28 verses 11 and 12 tells us that David gave his son Solomon the plans for the portico of the temple, its buildings, its storerooms, its upper parts, its inner rooms and the place of atonement. He gave him the plans of all that the Spirit had put in his mind for the courts of the temple of the Lord. Now, we have no idea how God downloaded the plans to David. JPEGs, PDFs, mental images, detailed drawings. One thing's for sure. The plans for the temple weren't manufactured in David's mind. They originated with the Spirit of God. The temple wasn't just a good idea. It was a God idea. So ask God for an idea. Pray for a plan. Why? Two reasons. First of all, because the Bible says in Psalm 37 verse 4, Take delight in the Lord, and He'll give you the desires of your heart. And secondly, when something's conceived by God's Spirit, it's sure to succeed. God Ideas. That's Vision's Word for Today. The Word for Today, Australia's most widely read daily devotion. Read it, share it or subscribe. Free at vision.org.au or in the Vision app. Just another way Vision is helping you look to God daily.